Like this is becoming like my late night ritual. Like, you know, before you go to bed, you watch you some Netflix or something. All I gotta do is go on Twitter and see what drama is popping off. Now this is my first time even going to it, so I'm about to do this raw if I miss say some words. It is what it is, and I'm gonna skim over some of it because it's a lot. This one says the Twitter files part three. Deplatforming the president. And if you look at it, somebody said, I don't know, man, legally Trump lost, blah, blah, blah. He said, I do think Trump would have lost anyway, such as the election. And yes, as a reminder, I supported Biden, Hillary, and Obama. Nonetheless, election interference by social media companies obviously undermines the public faith in democracy and is wrong. His brother's doing God's work. So this is by Matt to buy yeah, I ain't about to mess it up. Twitter files the removal of Donald Trump part one October 2020 January 6 the world knows much of the story of what happened between riots and the Capitol on January 6 of removing the president Donald Trump on Twitter January 8th we'll show you what hasn't been revealed the erosion of standards within the company in months before J6 decision by high ranking executives to violate their own policies and more against the backdrop of ongoing documented interactions with federal agencies. The first installment covered a period before the election, January 6th and after it. Whatever your opinion on the decision to remove Donald Trump that day, the internal communications at Twitter between January 6th and the 8th has been clear historical import. Even Twitter employees understood the moment. It was a landmark moment in the, in the annals of speech. And people are already getting it popping. So we're going to skim through some of those parts. As soon as they finished banning Trump, Twitter's executives started processing new power. They, pre they prepared to ban future presidents and White Houses, perhaps even Joe Biden, the quote-unquote new administration says one of Zach's will not be suspended by Twitter unless absolute, absolutely necessary. So in this, they're basically saying, look, in the future, the government accounts such as POTUS and White House will not suspend those accounts, but will take action to limit their use. However, these accounts will be trans, um, transition, transition over to the new administration in due course. So all that stuff. So they really have a lot of power and just control the media how they want to do it. Twitter executives removing Trump and a par over one executives call context surrounding actions by Trump and supporters over the course of this election and frankly the last four plus years. In the end, they looked at a broad picture, but that approach can be cut both ways. In the meantime, here's our quick take the decision on whether to who that part particular tweet is used on the last. Okay. So they're saying basically they do tweet by tweet and it was debating on why they did it. The bulk of the internal debate leading to Trump ban took place in those three January days. However, the intellectual, the intellectual framework was laid in the months preceding to the Capitol riots. I said before it. You had some stuff as election approaching your executives, perhaps federal agencies after J6. I'm a believer in calendar transparency, but I reached a certain point where my meeting became very interesting. Um, basically, they're saying when he was doing the meeting, if you wasn't talking about Donald Trump, it basically wasn't really popping off. And that's what they were talking about all the time, because to be fair, Donald Trump was turned all the way to hell up on Twitter always. I followed him because you had no idea what he was going to say every day. Good entertainment. These initial reports are based on searches for docs linked to prominent executives. Who names are already in the public. They include Roth, the former trust and policy chief so-and-so, and recently Plank Walk Deputy General Counsel and former top FBI lawyer Jim Baker. Jeez. Oh, so they yeah, got some real hitters in here. One particular Slack channel offered a unique window into evolving thinking of top officials in late 2020, early 2021. The channel was called 
this very important tweeters hey hey starting tomorrow until so and so this channel will be used for the following reasons in the 2020 election like jesus wow trump is going to be able to oh trump come back on twitter he's about to turn all the way to hell up because this probably didn't help him lose but y'all suppressing my man's stuff this ain't good there was at least some tension between the safety operations a larger department whose staffers use a more rule based on for addressing issues like scams and threats and a smaller more powerful cadre of senior policy execs like Roth and Gotti the latter of the group were high speed supreme courts of moderation issuing content ruling on the fly often in 10 minutes and based on guesses gut calls even google searches or even in cases involving a president breaking news 50,000 ohio voters getting wrong absentee ballots out of control a rigged election so here go my man said a rigged election would be enough in a violation right if the claim of fact were inaccurate yes but it looks like that is actually true it was at a point i remember every single thing donald trump tweeted they just said it was false news and not right during the time executive was executives were also clearing liaising with federal enforcement and intelligent agencies about moderation of election related content while we are still at the start of reviewing twitter files we're finding out more of these interactions every day uh, this post about hunter biden laptop situation showed Roth did not only meet weekly with the fbi and dhs but with the office of the director of national national intelligence so last you got the pictures of everything and it's just go on and on to number 27 examining the entire election enforcement slack we didn't see one reference to moderation requests from the trump campaign the trump white house or republicans generally we look they may exist we were told they do however that was absent here interesting let me know what y'all thoughts on this one because it shows twitter completely suppressed all of donald trump's stuff they flagged everything he tweeted during the election like elon musk said it probably wouldn't help him win but who the hell knows so y'all supposed to let my man stuff alone then you got the fbi involved in it so it just show how important it is to have elon musk running twitter because all the conspiracy theorists heads would never be proven right until we basically have this real information let me know your thoughts in the comments hit subscribe button i'm lando sus